The election season has just begun, and now that the Gujarat elections are over, the next big fight is in Karnataka in 2023. Every year we hear about voters turning up at their booth to find their name missing. If you are from Bangalore and have a voter ID, get your phone out right now and check if your name is on the revised electoral roll. Don't panic if you don't know how to check it. Do as I say and you've got this. Head to the National Voter Service Portal, fill in the required details such as name, age and assembly constituency and then check if your name is on the voters list. You can also check using EPIC number. If you don't know your EPIC number, check by going to one of these sites. If your name is on the list, you're one of the lucky ones. And if you're trying to process why your name has suddenly vanished from the electoral roll, don't worry. I'll tell you why that's happened and what you can do about it. A digital news platform published an investigation a few weeks ago where some members of the Chilume Trust had collected people's personal information illegally. Baitarayanpura, Mahadevapura and Shivaji Nagar were some areas that were affected. After the investigation was out, several people complained that their names disappeared from the voters list and some of you might be among them. In this video, I'm going to tell you why that is happening and what you can do about it. So when can a person's name disappear from the electoral roll? So there are only three cases like See if the person has moved to some other places, if the person is dead and if the person has a, a duplication of entries in the voter list, in that time only uh, the voter uh, uh, names will be deleted but with the approval of the applicant's signature and the major report of BLO. But what if none of this has happened and your name is still not on the voters list? Last Saturday I went for change of address in the voters list and I'm checking up the system. The people, the officials told me that my name has been deleted from the voters list and whereas my daughter's name was reflected in the same system. It's very surprising that how it can happen without my knowledge and without any reasons. Did you hear what he said? Confusing, right? This is what happened according to the BBMP's electoral branch. Wait, here's some GK. Did you know that there are 940 million voters registered in India? In the past few months, the Election Commission of India has corrected or deleted around 1 million of these entries. But on what basis were these entries deleted? Recently, Election Commission of India has given us uh, new technologies, that is uh, uh, demographical similar entries and another one is photo similar entries. In the first case, if the person has the similar name, age and uh, his relations type, address and all, the software will uh, pop up his uh, entries. Now in a country as populous as ours, isn't it likely that there would be similar names and faces? I was in a class of 20 and there was another girl named Rishika, a name I thought was rare. Now imagine how many Rishikas would be there in my own constituency. Now the question is, how 1 million entries just like these were verified before getting deleted or corrected? How was the ECI so sure about duplicate entries before deleting them? After similar entries had been found in the respective constituencies, the booth level officers were supposed to go to the address of the voters and check if it's really a duplicate entry. But there was a procedural lapse at the booth level in some cases and there were no such visits. Which is why people's names just vanished from the electoral roll. As per the rules, no one contacted me for deleting my name from the voters list. When I asked the official what is the next step to be done, they asked me to apply for a fresh ID, a voters ID card. As usual, the citizens bore the brunt of a lapse in the procedure. So now that we know how some of your names have disappeared from the electoral roll, here's how you can fix it. You can contact the BLO of your assembly constituency by getting the information from the same portal. If you find out that your name has disappeared out of thin air, your magic word to fix it is revoke. Don't let them fool you into reapplying. Fight for your right and say revoke. Now we all know there is a high chance that they may still refuse to revoke. In that case, head to the nearest BBMP ward office. If you also fail to get a response this way, I have another option for you. Call on the helpline number 1950 meant for any information related to elections or voting. Here's a bonus for the ones who've made it till this point of the video. Those of you who are now waiting to change your address but don't want your names deleted from the electoral roll by mistake, here's a safe way of doing it. There is a form 8 uh, with the ECI, uh, even you have a VHA applications, it is there, form 8. You can fill that form 8 and wherever you want to move, 
So you can fill it up and submit. The corresponding BLOs who are there and they will pick it up and will they will verify the uh, the person's address and they'll go to their house and they'll, they'll get the signature of the person who wants to move to the new location and uh, the report will be submitted and according to that ERO will take uh, necessary action. If you still have a doubt about anything, the links to all the portals are in the description. Go check them out.